Man, oh man, I don't know about you, but my year was going great and nobody, and I mean nobody, except for maybe whoever, if ever, anybody manufactured what's going on right now, would have seen this coming, but we got to roll with the punches and you know, you got to flow. So you got to bob and weave and you got to figure out ways to make money. And right now I'm about to show you one way to make money and that's to make one of these masks. In this video, we're going to be making this mask for my man Sean at SE Shirts and Hoodies. I'm going to put a link down to his YouTube channel. He's the DTG God, man. And he also has some embroidery stuff as well. And we're going to put this mask together using a silky socks mask template and everything i'm gonna show you guys how to do it from start to finish so that you can grab some and you can get it going with your sublimation printer how you guys doing my name is stan bench for t-shirt style so and i help people start t-shirt businesses from home and with no further ado let me hop into the computer and show you how to make this mask right after the intro <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the computer right now and we're gonna get straight to work, okay? The first thing I gotta do is close this out, all right? And I'm gonna open up this layer here and I'm gonna double click the artwork layer. This is gonna bring this in. I'm gonna close this off. I'm gonna turn this first layer on, all right? And this just gives us a frame uh, for what we'll see, where the mask is, last the position, everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead. He sent me over some of his artwork that he uses, all right? This is what we're going to actually end up making, okay? But we're going to go ahead and put it together now. So first up, we got a skyline here. I'm going to blow this up. Okay. And then I'm going to reposition it up here like so. Let's move it over a little bit. All right. So that's what... We got there, and then we're also going to go grab his logo without the bottom on it. So we got this logo here. All right, and we're going to put it about right there. Okay, now what I'm going to actually do to make this work is I'm going to actually go ahead and add a stroke to it. Um, and we're going to make a stroke. We're going to make the stroke white. Uh, let's make it black. Let's see what it looks like black. Okay. And I'm going to copy this layer here and I'm going to turn off on this top layer here. I'm going to turn the fill off. And on the bottom layer here, I am going to turn the stroke off. Okay. And so what's going to happen is. Everything here, you guys see there, is kind of all see-through now. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a color overlay on here. And then I'm going to drop the opacity on it. So now it's kind of like you can see inside. All right, let's take a look at what I made before. And then let's take a look at what we got now. All right. So the only difference is I got a thicker black border here. But you guys see how you can see the, the state uh, skyline coming from behind the letters. So I'm going to actually jump the opacity just a hair to probably about right there. And I'm going to take my stroke and I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Probably to about a 20. I think that looks good. So now let me explain to you guys what I'm actually doing in here, okay? So this top layer, if I cut this layer off, this top layer is just a stroke. The reason if I just did not do that, if I just left the fill there and I dropped the opacity, it actually changes the, the stroke. So what I did was the opposite. I removed the fill, okay, and I made a stroke layer, and then I made another layer without a stroke where I made the color overlay so the whole thing is white and I dropped the opacity to actually have the skyline behind it. OK, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to move around just a hair to see 
uh, where I know this one building here was actually inside of uh, this letter here. So it doesn't have to be positioned perfectly. We're just going to move around the skyline and see that it's positioned where we actually like it. Right here looks good. Okay, let me move down just a hair. That looks good. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to save it. Okay. And once I save it, I go back to my mask and it looks good. Again, here inside my shadow layer, I can play with uh, how it looks. So I'm going to drop the opacity down on here a little bit to give me a little better look. And on this one as well, drop the opacity. That makes it look a little, look a little better. Okay. There we go. All right. So that is what our mesh will look like once it comes out. Um, and I kind of want to move the SE down just a hair. So take both of them, move them down just a hair, save it. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and design my other two masks that are going to go on the same sheet so I can save some paper. Uh, and we'll be back to actually press this mask up. So from here, give me a second and I will show you guys how to print inside of the Sawgrass software. Okay, so here is a template that I actually put together so I can print three masks on one sheet, 11 by 17, because I have the Sawgrass uh, 800, which you might have to do is maybe do two if you have let's say the 400 or something. So this press 11 by 17. So I'm going to go ahead and take my mask. I'm going to drag over my artwork. Oops, that's the wrong paper. I'm actually going to go into the file that we made for the mock-up. And I'm going to position this uh, here. And then all I'm going to do here is right click and create clipping mask. And then I'm just going to position it inside of here to the position that I want it. Okay, I'm actually gonna move the logo up just a hair. All right, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna copy this um, down. So I'm actually going to just delete these two and I'm going to just drag and copy this down here, copy this down here. And let's move this one up a little bit. And then let's reposition the middle one here. Move that up a little bit. All right, now we have it all printed and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, file, save as, and I'm gonna go to clients, SE, oops, SE shirts and hoodies. All right. And we're going to go to going to go to masks and PSD and we're going to save it bow and then we're going to save as and we're going to save it as a JPEG. And we're good to go there. Ooh, I need to save it as a high quality so file save as jpeg save place make that thing a 12. okay so this is what our mask should come out looking similar to so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go here to the creative studio manager i'm going to open a local file I'm going to go to clients. I'm going to go to SE shirts and hoodies. I'm going to go to my mask JPEG. I'm going to open it up. And here are my settings here for my Sawgrass machine. Uh, and all the thing that I'm going to do inside of this software is I'm going to uh, I have the image here, which I can see. Um, I'm going to go to layout, make sure everything there is fine. I don't really change much in here. But one thing I do like to print on is I like to print on Vivid. Um, but this doesn't have any color, so I'm going to switch to grayscale to make sure it comes out gray. And it should only use black ink from here. So what we're actually going to do now is I'm going to press print. And I'm going to reposition you guys so you guys can see exactly what's coming out. Oh. 
Okay, so to complete these masks, we're going to need four things. We're going to need some craft paper, some parchment paper, some sort. All right, we're going to need our blank mask, obviously. Uh, that's going to be a link straight to this mask down in the description below. We got our transfer paper here, and we actually need our scissors. And again, I printed this out on my Sawgrass 800. Doesn't matter which sublimation printer you have, you just need to make sure it's sublimation ink involved. You can convert uh, something like the Epson Workforce 7710 or 7720 or one of the Inco tanks, but you just want to make sure that you have sublimation ink. You cannot do this with regular inkjet or laser ink, okay? All right, so let's cut it apart. I'm going to press one up, all right, and we're going to go from there. So, again, one side is cotton, one side is polyester. If you hold out the, the tab here where you see the name instruction, which is a tearaway label, that's going to tell you which side is polyester, okay, and it's also going to tell you which side is the top. I do like to press it a little bit just to make sure that it's flat, all right, nice and flat there. All right, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of position the logo. Oh, I forgot one thing. I like to cut, kind of tuck these edges underneath of here so that the uh, string does not get sublimated at all. All right, so we're going to tuck those under before I forget. Right, and just a little bit again. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that the logo is positioned perfectly right there. And that looks good, just check it. That looks great. Just like that, I'm gonna make sure I got it covered here. All right, that looks good. All right, I got my pressure very, very light. Actually, I need to change my pressure because somebody was using this before me. I'm going to take it down to a 15 on my sure pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure for this at all, okay? So now the last thing I'm going to do is cover this with another piece of parchment paper. And we're going to press it for 30 seconds. Real light on the pressure there. And then once this is actually done... We're gonna open, as it opens, we're gonna take it off immediately. We're gonna see how well we did with our new mask. So we went from the computer over to the printer. Now we're pressing it up and then we're gonna have our Silky Socks mask for SE shirts and hoodies. Three, two, one, open. Real easy, lift it up. And boy, oh boy, I ain't going to put it on because somebody going to have to wear this, but this thing looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Boop. Mask on. Mask off. Mask on. Mask off. Last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to tear out the tearaway label. There we go. Now we got a SC shirts and hoodies mask from start to finish. So... Don't forget, you made it this far, so you might as well like this video. Also, comment down below. Let me know if you like this. If you picked some masks up that you're going to sublimate, just let me know what you think about this tutorial and any tutorial you want to see here in the future. This has been your boy, Stan Baker, Teacher Side Hustle. Peace. One thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that these masks all come with this sleeve here, so you can deliver a retail-ready product, all right? Free from contamination and just being around. Again, people are going to wear these, so you want to handle them as little as possible. So we're going to go ahead here, drop this inside. If I can get it inside, like so. All right, I'm going to tuck this back. If you got some stickers or something, you can pop it on top. Close it up. And now we're going to get this mask right over to my man, Sean. Again, this has been your boy, Stan Banks. Peace. Oh,